This thing's pretty cool. Test to EPA standards. Hey, this is this is good. Just like uh, like a pregnancy test. Get immediate results. What else can I ask for? <laughs> What's going on guys, this is Burrs. I want to talk to you today about long-term water storage and if you have to use preservers or not. No, not the ones, the floaty ones you put on your arms like little kids. I'm talking about water preservers. You want to put it in your water storage containers to make sure that you preserve the water long-term. A lot of people talk about moving and, and uh, rotating is a better word. They talk about rotating their water storage every uh, six months to a year. And I'm here to show you a three-year, five-gallon, it's a little, it's a little heavy, five-gallon water uh, container I got here. This is in the Scepter. I did a video on this. Scepter water storage. You can see it's a little dirty because it's been sitting in a cool, dry place for three years. I'm going to go ahead and use this first alert drinking water test, and we are going to see if According to EPA standards, if this water has been stored for three years, no preserver used in it, it's good to go. So before we get started, let's talk about how I stored this water in the first place. I got the Scepter military grade or military water container. I cleaned it out with like some Dawn dishwashing soap or whatever, rinsed it out. I filled it up with spring water. So I went to my local grocery store, bought five gallons of spring water, filled it up, put it on tight, the, the uh, cap here, put it on tight, and stored it in a cool dry place for three years. So, let's get looking at this water test. Boy, I hope this is negative. You really can't afford another five gallons of water right now. All right, so you can't really see the glass in here, but you'll get the gist. Go ahead, unscrew this cap. All right. I don't think we're gonna need any more than that. Guess I should read the directions now. Now, before I get started with uh, the test here, uh, everything's in its little thing here so you don't get contaminated. So I'm gonna wash my hands. It was kind of dirty because it's been sitting there for three years. Just gonna wash my hands, make sure they're clean before we get started. So I can already see I'm gonna need a funnel, stainless steel food grade funnel. I'm gonna have to put it in this little vial here. So it says take out the bacterial test vial and set upright on flat surface collect water sample, or turn on tap to a very slow stream. Carefully twist off cap and fill vial to one half inch below the top to five mils, right there. Do not overfill. Do not spill the bacterial growth powder in the vial. Replace the cap and twist on tightly. Shake the vial vigorously for 20 seconds. Place the cap vial upright in a warm area 70 to 90 degrees where it cannot be disturbed for 48 hours. I thought this test was gonna be 15 minutes. So let's put the water in. I am going so carefully opening the vial. I shall fill now. All right, went ahead and filled it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 17, 18, 19. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead let that sit for 48 hours and we'll see the result. Yeah, well, we're gonna find out if you should have used protection or not. So as you can see from the results photo here, we did not have any bacterial growth. So do you have to use a water preserver or not? In my case, in the way I stored my water, the answer was no. And I've always wondered about this question because I've tried to think to myself, if you're using a good container, like a Scepter five gallon uh, military container, which is BPA free, it doesn't have um, plastic that leaches into the uh, water. Uh, if you're using a good container, you're storing it in a cool, dry place, and you're using good water to begin with, like I used uh, spring water. I like spring water. It has some good minerals in it. Um, I used spring water right from the grocery store, so I took five gallons of that. Um, when I got the containers, I washed them out, rinsed them out, I uh, used some dish soap from the, uh, the sink, washed them out, rinsed them out, and uh, filled them up, stored it in a cool, dry place, made sure the lid was on tight. I haven't disturbed them for, for three years. So it's really interesting and really cool to see um, you know, that there is no bacteria in there. Could you do it for five years? I'm not sure. 
um, I'm personally not going to have a problem with it because worst case scenario, what I'm going to do is just run it through a water filter. Um, it's already going to be, there's going to be no sediment in it because it's good water. And the water filter is going to take care of any bacteria if there is any that has grown in it. But as we saw from this test, there was no bacteria grown in it. Now, if you store yours in a, uh, a crappier place, a, a hotter place, a place that's not uh, dark and cool or a cool, dry place, uh, maybe you'll have a problem. If you use different containers, like if you use just, if you just store it from the, um, the containers that they come in at the grocery store, the, the gallon containers, um, are you going to have a problem? Pro probably going to have a problem with that. Uh, they're not BPA free to my knowledge, not most of them. Um, so depending on how you store it is going to depend on your results. My results are my results. I always say get the best containers you can. Uh, Scepter, the military ones, I'll put a link down below to, to those. Uh, but as you saw from this, uh, the storage method, uh, there's no problem there. So if you guys have any questions or anything, let me know. If you guys uh, do have your long-term storage methods, go ahead and put those down below or better yet, make a video about it. Until next time, later.